Hey guys, welcome back. It's Marcello from Toyota Central and today I'm actually inside of our shop which is something that your hybrid Toyota won't be seeing a lot of and in this video I'm going to tell you why. That's right, I'm going to talk to you guys about why all the parts on your hybrid Toyota won't be replaced as quickly and as frequently than a gas Toyota vehicle in this video. But before I go over that, don't forget to like the video after watching if you've enjoyed it and subscribe for cool constant videos of your favorite Toyotas. Now guys, I'm so sorry, I wanted to do this video in the shop, but I can't. It's 1.30 uh, in the afternoon over here right now, and that's actually peak time for our, uh, our technicians and our shop. So there's cars everywhere, uh, mechanics running around. So I came to a much more quieter place to explain to you guys the benefits of owning a Toyota Hybrid. Okay guys, so listen, there's a lot of questions around hybrid vehicles and the hybrid technology itself. And did you know that it's actually a mandate from the government by the year 2025, manufacturers have to have a certain amount of hybrid vehicles available for sale on their lineup. So a number of years ago, Toyota came out with this initiative called Make a Date Every Eight. And what that did is uh, it comprised of 16 service intervals for Toyota dealers to see you and see your vehicle and come in for regular routine maintenance. Now, the reason why it's called make a date every eight is because the intervals are generally every 8,000 kilometers. Okay, so yeah, every 8,000 kilometers. So this maintenance plan is comprised of 16 maintenances, which start at 8,000 kilometers and go all the way up to 128,000 kilometers. But hey, your Toyota is going to last a lot longer than that, isn't it? And these services are general routine maintenances that you would normally do on any other vehicle, any other brand. You've got, you know, service one, service two, service three, uh, tightening of propeller shaft bolts. Um, you've got, you know, brake fluid flushes, uh, tire rotations, stuff like that. Nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary. Now there's a few things when you look at, for example, the RAV4 2021 gas versus hybrid, there's a few things that Toyota doesn't recommend you do for the hybrid that you don't need to do that you do need to do for the gas RAV4. And what are those things? Well, I'll tell you, on the gas RAV4, you've got to tighten the propeller shaft bolts. That starts getting recommended at 16,000 kilometers, also on the 48,000 kilometer service, I believe. But on the RAV4 hybrid, you don't have to do that. Also, the, the replace of the transfer case fluid, that's something you got to do at 48,000 kilometers on your gas model RAV4, and it's not recommended. Uh, you don't have to do it actually on the RAV4 hybrid, on the gas you do. So my whole point about doing this video is not really to talk about your recommendations from Toyota in terms of maintaining your Toyota, whether it's a gas or a hybrid. What I'm talking to you guys about is your wear and tear, the amount of money that you're gonna spend uh, keeping your vehicle up to spec and up to safety, I guess. We, uh, every time we have a vehicle that gets traded into our lot, for example, we do what's called a safety inspection and it gets written by a service technician and it makes sure that, you know, the brakes are up to a certain millimeter, the tires are up to a certain millimeter. That's what I'm talking about. When you're owning a hybrid Toyota versus a gas Toyota, you're going to notice that things like that, brakes, tires, things that wear and tear over the time of use, you'll have to replace less when you have a hybrid uh, versus when you have a gas. Now you might ask why? What's the difference? They're both vehicles that are the same. I mean, other than the drivetrain, one being gas, one being hybrid, what is it that causes these components to wear out much more slowly compared to a gas model? It's heat, heat. Heat is what will wear down your vehicle, uh, your engine, your tires, your brakes, heat. When you've got friction, it creates heat. This wears down parts. Hybrid vehicles don't get hot nearly as much than a gas vehicle will. And I'm talking about pretty much in all aspects. The engine gets worked a lot less. The tires get worked a lot less uh, because of the acceleration and also the deceleration of the vehicle. It uses the hybrid battery a lot to engine brake or to brake. Also, the brakes itself don't get used as much as they do on a gas Toyota. I'll actually tell you, we one time saw a Toyota Camry Hybrid in for service in the shop 
with the original manufacturer brakes still on, never replaced, and this Camry had well over 120,000 kilometers. And the battery itself, I really wouldn't worry about it because Toyota gives you a fantastic warranty backed by the manufacturer. And also guys, I've been here with Toyota since 2008 and we've replaced one battery on a hybrid since we've been here and we've serviced a lot of vehicles like i said before in my other video we're a category 1a volume dealership and like i said we've we've only replaced one battery oh and i should mention that one battery that we replaced we had to replace it because the customer actually tried to convert it into something i don't know what he tried to do some modifications to it and actually ended up killing the battery and it was not covered under warranty of course so we ended up replacing it for the customer that's the only battery we've ever replaced here since as far back as I can remember, which is early 2008. Bottom line guys, consider a hybrid. If the opportunity is there and if the option is there, consider a hybrid. Don't only look at the price gap between the gas versus the hybrid, which is normally a couple thousand dollars. You wanna look at how much you're gonna be using the vehicle. Uh, generally speaking, the average kilometers per year is about 18,000 all the way up to 24,000 kilometers per year. That's generally the average of how much someone is driving these days. Uh, now with uh, the lockdowns and stuff, maybe less, but generally that's what it is. So if you're gonna be doing that kind of driving, you're gonna be having the car for more than a few years, consider the hybrid because I can almost guarantee you that your overall wear and tear maintenance cost on the hybrid versus the gas is gonna be less. So the price gap on the gas uh, versus the hybrid or the hybrid versus the gas should level out pretty much uh, definitely once you start to consider also the fuel savings. So do consider a hybrid, uh, it should be worth it for you. Now, don't forget what I said about heat. Remember, the hybrids don't get hot or nearly as hot as the gas vehicles do. And what does heat do? It wears down rubber, it wears down metal, and you don't want that when you're owning a vehicle because that's gonna lead to faster and more maintenance costs. That's all I've got guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was informative for you. Don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe for constant cool videos of your favorite Toyotas.